Germany plans to prepare US troops for battles with Russia on NATO's eastern front. German army commanders are drawing up plans for how they will feed thousands of American soldiers and refuel their tanks as they move toward NATO's eastern front as part of a secret document outlining Germany's readiness for war. In particular, in an interview with Faz, Bundeswehr Lieutenant General Andre Bodeman said that the army is drawing up a new long-term security plan with an emphasis on civil defense. It is noted that most of the planning details are state secrets, but a senior officer did reveal that part of the planning process involves logistics to feed the huge number of American soldiers, mainly civilians. If, for example, there was a US division moving east, thousands of tanks, thousands of soldiers, then they would need to be fed and the tanks would need to be refueled or perhaps repaired, Bodeman said. According to him, the Bundeswehr's logistical support would probably be linked to our own soldiers at the front. This means we would need maximum civilian input. The convoy would receive fuel from gas stations or civilian transport. The Red Cross would provide medical assistance and food would come from civilian catering. It would be a classic case, the military man said. In this context, the Telegraph notes that Bodeman's comments come during British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak's visit to Berlin, where he said European countries should follow Britain's example in increasing defence spending to ensure continued US commitment to NATO. General Bodeman's statements are the latest evidence that Germany is trying to make itself ready for war in the face of a potential armed conflict with Russia within the next five years. Although he did not specify which eastern front Germany would defend, NATO officials are increasingly concerned that Vladimir Putin will launch an invasion of NATO's eastern flank if his forces ultimately win in Ukraine. US military is using the Ukraine conflict to test a new artificial intelligence technology. The US military is reportedly using the Ukraine conflict to test a new artificial intelligence technology that helps detect targets on the battlefield using drone footage, the New York Times reported. Dubbed Project Marvin, research into the technology was initially picked up as a government contract by Google six years ago, according to the outlet. However, after pushback from engineers and employees who do not want to take part in building an AI tool for military use, the tech giant stepped away from the project which was picked up by other contractors. Now the technology is being used on the front line in Ukraine, the New York Times claims, as Western and Ukrainian officers, along with some of Silicon Valley's top military contractors, are exploring new ways of finding and exploiting Russian vulnerabilities. So far, the results of the testing have reportedly been mixed. While Project Marvin allows commanders to identify the movements of Russian forces and use AI algorithms to predict their next steps, it has apparently been difficult to bring 21st century data into 19th century trenches. One of the main barriers, the New York Times said, is that due to restrictions imposed by US President Joe Biden, the US military can only provide Ukrainians with a picture of the battlefield without giving precise targeting details. It is also unclear if the new technology would even be able to change the course of the conflict given Russia's ability to quickly adapt to technologies being used by the Ukrainian side. When new technology meets the brutality of old-fashioned trench warfare, the results are rarely what Pentagon planners expected, the outlet said. Nevertheless, the Ukraine conflict remains a bonanza for the US military in the minds of American officials and a testing ground for rapidly evolving technologies. At the end of the day, this became our laboratory. Lieutenant General Christopher T. Donahue, who commands the US Army's 18th Airborne Division, told the New York Times. Russia, meanwhile, has repeatedly decried increasing US involvement in the conflict. Moscow describes it as a proxy war being waged by Washington and its partners. Ukrainian fighters discovered the command post and radar station of the S-400 Triumph anti-aircraft missile complex belonging to the invading Russian army through a drone. Later, the radar station and the anti-aircraft complex were completely destroyed by continuous fire from the HIMARS rocket launcher system. Ukrainian forces have found success with the HIMARS on the battlefield since they arrived in the early summer of 2022, using its GPS-guided rockets to target Russian sites like ammunition depots, command posts, and bridges. The weapons were also critical in helping Ukraine recapture territory around the southern Kherson region. The UK-based Royal United Services Institute wrote in an assessment last year that the HIMARS and US-made M2 
multiple launch rocket systems signaled the moment where Russia's offensive in eastern Ukraine ended and the war transitioned into a new phase. Ukrainian forces need more than just US-made Hamars rockets to blunt the increasing rate of Russian artillery fire, according to three war experts.